Hey YouTube, it's Cape Cod Kuda. Uh, I pulled off that flywheel starter clutch. Uh, I used, go over to the truck, I used a harmonic ba uh, balance puller, a steering wheel puller I bought at Harbor Freight a while ago. This was a uh, this is the first one I used. I bought this kit years ago and used it on um, a Mustang that I built. And uh, you can see I had mounted it on there like this and it sits inside, way up inside the uh, flywheel starter clutch. And uh, this is almost leveled with the, uh, the, the side of the starter clutch. Anyways, I couldn't see this, and I kept on talking down on it, and all of a sudden it went crooked. So I backed off on it, and you can see it split, and the adapter pushed up inside of it. When it went sideways, it bent the mountain screws that I had used. I don't know if you can see those are bent. So I brought it down to Harbor Freight to ask them if there was a warranty on it, and they said no. So I bought another one. I think I paid $16 for it. I asked where it was. The lady went and got it, pulled it off the shelf, told me it had a 90-day warranty. So I figured I got my receipt now. I can bring this back under warranty because I have a 90-day warranty. <laughs> so when this... These ones went sideways, it ripped the third one out and um, stripped my threads in, in the flywheel. So I had to use this tap and die set. The set was like $30, $35 or something like that plus tax. I used this to chase, chase through the threads and uh, fix the threads. And uh, I'll show you what it did to the bike. You saw that adapter piece, right? Well, that adapter piece, if you look inside the center bolt, when it went crooked, it damaged the center here. And uh, it kind of marred up. Threads a little on there. I haven't tried the bolt yet to see if it messed the bolt up. But when I put the new one on there, we fix the threads on this. Wow, this starter clutch is heavy. 